I hope everyone is having a wonderful afternoon, Mr. Noodle. Anybody else who may be here? I appreciate y'all being here and hope, uh, hope you're excited as I am for some Jack and Daxter, man. I have, I mean, honestly, I, I love Jack and Daxter. I'm pretty sure we've brought that up before on here. And I've been kind of wanting to play it anyways, but the Dorseman and I have been talking and we decided to do Jack and Daxter. I don't remember if we decided to do it this week. I'm pretty sure we decided to on this coming Sunday, the next time we record the podcast. So I need to pick up a copy for that anyways. And uh, yeah, it just kind of gave me an excuse to, to buy it a little bit earlier than maybe I would have otherwise. So that's what we're going to be playing tonight, man. A little bit of Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. Um, oh, for some reason, my ad run never went through. So, well, that's lame. Okay, so uh, I guess we're going to have to do a quick ad run before the everything actually starts here. Otherwise, there's going to be one in the middle of the, the gameplay. So... We're just gonna sit here and BS for a few more minutes, I guess. <laughs> Will it let me? Oh, that's so dumb. It won't let me run an ad because I did. I didn't forget to run the ad, but Twitch didn't recognize I did, so it's gonna force an ad to run in five minutes? I don't know, man. Well, at the very least, maybe we can get through like the beginning, the, the, <laughs> the setting up the game and all of that BS. We can probably get that stuff done, at least. Uh, da -da. all that stuff is fine. Graphic options, center screen aspect ratio, that's all fine. Sound options, speech volume 100, music volume 600. You know what? That actually seems like it's set up pretty well. You might have to close and come back. Twitch is being weird and I keep disappearing. What? That's, <laughs> that is very weird. Well, uh, yeah, by all means, if do what you got to do there. I hope you get it figured out. And I hope Twitch in general isn't having uh, problems. I mean, because uh, I'm having a problem with the, the ad manager. You're having a problem with the whatchamacallit. So, yeah, I guess we'll see. Hey, Rue. Happy to see you. Or should I use your full name, Rue Man the NB Twat? <laughs> oh, very fun one, man. Have you ever played Jack and Daxter or have you not had the chance to play it before? It's amazing. One of my favorite PS2 games, man. Really, really good. I haven't played it in years, though. It's been a long time since I've played. But I, I absolutely adore it. And uh, I personally, from what I've played at least, think the first one's my favorite one. So, yeah. Like, there's a function to make the screen little and kind of tuck you into the side of your screen. It keeps completely disappearing instead of tucking away. Oh, so it could be a phone problem, Twitch problem, who knows. Hey, Nate! Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Everything Even the rocks, guys. He tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of green ego, one of the wisest men on the planet. <laughs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Yeah, I'm trying not to talk over it too much because, like, so many old games, no subtitles. Uh, but yeah, no, I love this intro too. Absolutely adore it. I, I, I love everything about the first Jack and Daxter game, man. One of my favorites. Nate, and I don't know if you heard, we're actually doing this on the podcast Sunday night. At least that's the plan, so. If the locals 
possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. But yeah, so I actually had to stop at the local game shop and grab it real quick because uh, I don't own this one, surprisingly enough. <laughs> this place gives me the creeps. Or didn't. Guess I do now. Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> The sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crap? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! <laughs> of course, there's a hot villain girl. Oh no! Our friend fell in the goo! The mysterious black goo! <laughs> I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! What? <laughs> Throwing a freaking fit. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. See, this is why I love the first one so much, man. It's just goofy, stupid fun. It doesn't have the same dark tone that the later ones have. Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mushing around. He's a weasel. Misty Island. That's right. And then. And Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping because, in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. <laughs> Nobody has spoken Noodle. to him in ages. Oh my god. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a Hey, thing thank you for the bits, love. Moment. All I would need is 20 power cells. I appreciate it. To withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that Oh, thank you for the subscription. Yes, the 3 months now. Holy shit, point. man. Yeah. But where are our and you ordered the computer. Going to get 20 power That's down. super exciting. Villagers, super exciting. Some have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they are willing to just give them away. <laughs> Hot girl ally. Palms with a few Hot girl villain. Should do the Hot girls everywhere, man. <laughs> there are even more wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark goo and eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. Jack is the silent one. Daxter is the weasel. <laughs> All right. We can actually BS a little bit now. So, yes. Uh, thank you again, Rue, and thank you again, Noodle. I appreciate you both. Tons. Uh, and Nate, yeah, so we decided to do this for the podcast on Sunday, and I, I surprisingly didn't own a copy, so on my lunch break from work, I stopped at one of the, the local game store and uh, grabbed a copy of it down there. He also had Jack 2 in stock, so I went ahead and grabbed that one as well. And then uh, I also got the Pac-Man World game 1 and 2. And then, also to add to the collection, my wonderful friend and co-host, The Dorseman, 
uh, picked me up a, a couple games that he had saw real cheap that weren't on my on my list of stuff that I that I own. So he picked those up for me and handed them over today as well. So we actually had a few games to the collection. I haven't updated the list yet or anything because I just got home from work and, you know, got food and everything, then hopped on stream. But yeah, have I got Odin Sphere? I have not, but I actually plan on ordering it within uh, the next couple of days. So it'll be very soon. Trust me, it has been on my mind a lot. It's just with Christmas and everything, I didn't really have any money or anything, <laughs> sadly. But uh, we're caught back up on everything now. So... I have a little bit of my own disposable income. So yes, it's been on my mind and I'm definitely uh, going to be picking it up because I've been wanting to try it out. Not only because you requested it, but also because it just looks like a lot of fun. Looks like Jax likes a Alley Girl. <laughs> a a is that is that how you say that? Alley Girl? <laughs> no problems, you're my favorite streamer. What? I appreciate that. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, man, seriously. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate the compliments. Just, uh, yeah. I appreciate you. You can't wait? Me neither, honestly. Like I said, it looks like a lot of fun. I'm just hoping it lives up to the hype. Because, uh, I know Nate's still here in chat, but, uh, he, he's hyped up one or two games a lot that ended up being a little, uh, a little, uh, underwhelming, let's say. <laughs> Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles, anyone? Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate Nate and uh, I, and his suggestions. Don't get me wrong, but uh, yeah, that one that one definitely fell flat. <laughs> it's so fun. Has a great story. Highly recommend it if you like it enough to play through it totally. It's so good, and you can help me through it. I uh, I mean, I can't say for sure until I actually try it, obviously. But yeah, just from what I've seen of it, it seems likely that I would be willing to uh, to play through it entirely. Um, so it's been a long time since I played. I forget how to do all the stuff, just everything. Okay, so circle is the spin attack. Square is that attack. Oh, okay, we're also saving. That's fair, I remembered it being so much better. It makes me wonder if maybe you were thinking of one of the other Naruto games or something, maybe. But, because uh, I was talking to, not the game store that I went to today, but one of the other local game stores. You know what, as, as shitty as the area I live in is, we are pretty lucky that we have a fair few game stores locally. I will say that much. But anyways, I was talking to one of the dudes at a, a different semi-local game store. And, uh... We were talking about the, the Naruto games, and he was telling me, like, how the Uzumaki Chronicle one is, uh, not all that great, but one of the other ones I was picking up at that time was actually, uh, like, one of his personal favorites. Like, a really good game, apparently, so... I mean, we'll see once we get around to playing it, but yeah. Uh, as far as my history with Jack and Daxter go, I have 100% this game. I've mentioned it once or twice before. Um, but that was on the PS3, the HD edition. So this whole... Oh, man. I haven't played this game on PS2 in, like, <laughs> what year is it again? 2022? Oh, it's been a long time. It's been a long, long time. <laughs> I don't even remember. Over a decade, man. Like, it's, yeah, crazy. So, the blue energy, if you didn't hear, the blue energy breaks stuff and collects stuff for us, basically, just by us, like, walk, walking past it. So, it gives us, like, magnetism. I'm pretty sure there's other things we can do with it, too, if I remember correctly, but, uh... That's like the, the big the big thing. You keep forgetting it's 2022. I try to forget that it's 2022. <laughs> like, can it just be like 20, 2015 again or something? What was, 2015 was what, seven years ago? I don't know, man. Like 2000 and, 2011 ish, 2012. Those are, those are pretty decent years. Uh, 2012, can we go back to there? That sounds decent. <laughs> but then we wouldn't have the Final Fantasy VII Remake, so... Mm, that's a tough one there, man. <laughs> Taz wasn't much of a letdown. Oh, yeah, no, I, I like Taz. And uh, you, I mean, I don't think you suggested DMC for me to play on stream. Like, to try out, but you've definitely been suggesting for me to finish it. <laughs> and, uh, DMC definitely isn't a letdown. That's a lot of fun. Really good game in that. Also, ow. Hurt. Just a little bit there. 
That's fair, Nate. You have three on Switch, and that's basically just retell the whole anime in a way shorter story. No, please, 2015 was awful for me, and I wouldn't even be on the internet. <laughs> How about 2012, though? Was 2012 better or worse for you? Because uh, 2012 was a pretty good time for me. I would have been out of college working a decent office job. Maybe. 2012 was a mixed bag for me, I guess. Because there, there's... Parts of 2012 that were pretty good, and then there's parts of 2012 that were pretty bad. If I if I'm remembering my dates right, <laughs> there's a, there's also a decent possibility that I'm mixing up my dates a bit. So, That's a blue eco vest. you did recommend blue DMC three? Did you? Man, my my memory's so bad. I honestly don't even remember. But it was if you had friends, but one of uh, allies was totally. One of Rallies was totally centered over the end of the world, and that caused issues. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, because the whole rally, like, school rally. I, I got you. Okay, okay. Yeah, 2012 was the whole, like, Mayan calendar end of the year thing, wasn't it? Or end of the world thing. Was that 2012? So maybe maybe 2011 was the, the year I was trying to think of then. Because I think by 2012, I was living somewhere that I would rather not have been living. And, uh, I was, I might have been working at McDonald's by 2012. So maybe 2011 is the one I'm thinking of. That was a pretty good year for me. I don't know, man. That's shit so long ago now. All I know is I wish I was a kid again. <laughs> a kid or young teenager. That's, that's all I'm asking for. It was when we were just talking about great, great PS2 games in general. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you there, then, about DMC being, uh, well, again, I'm not 100% positive if I played 3, but DMC in general is pretty good, in general. <laughs> Can we do 2018? I know it's not that far back, but that's when you started college and you finally came into your own person and had awesome friends and finally felt like you were worth it. Hey, that's awesome, man. Honestly, like, that's really good to hear. I wish that it could have come a little bit earlier for you, but, you know. I'm glad you made it there. And I mean 2018 wasn't too bad for me. I don't have I don't have any major complaints about 2018 other than the fact that like uh it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> that's that's my only complaint about 2018. I want to be I want to be a, a teenager that cares uh nothing any again about I don't know word things. I think you started McDonald's 2013, maybe even 2014. Was it that late? Because 2011, I would have been 11, so I would have been 18. And we were living with my aunt in 2018, right? You graduated 2012, did you? I could have swore we were doing the whole Mayan calendar thing at my aunt's house when we lived with her. So I don't know, whatever. My memory's bad enough as it is. I <laughs> There's no way I'm going to remember all this stuff. Great. He was with me, so it was amazing. Yep, that's it. That's why it was amazing. Because I had Noodle. Graduated 2012, yes. It was certainly touch and go for me before. Let's just say, in middle school, I'm really glad Nana didn't have what I asked for. Hmm. I don't know if you want to divulge more or not, but I don't know what you're talking about. I will say that much. But if it's a touchy subject, then no need to, uh... Oh. Yes. Okay. Let's let's be happy, then, that she didn't. <laughs> For sure. My nose is stuffy. While this cutscene's playing out, I'm going to turn up my air purifier a little bit. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. Uh, no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out, and I'm back! <laughs> why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. You don't mind sharing? Oddly enough, you find it way easier to talk to randoms and awesome friends like you guys and my own family. I feel you there, man. Honestly. Like, same. <laughs> all of you, get out of here! 
I've always uh, been one of those people, though, that's been pretty open about my anxiety and depression, though. Uh, I make jokes about it fairly often, which, uh, I mean, I don't know if that's considered healthy or not, but, <laughs> you know, whatever. It's just, <laughs> it is what it is, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, be careful, it might freeze you out of the room. It is not an air conditioner, it's just an air purifier. Purifier. I don't know why Noodle thinks the air purifier is going to, uh, like, freeze the entire world or something like that. It's a fan with a filter attached to it. Like, <laughs> that's, that's all that is, love. That's a mood stream in eight. At least we all have each other now. Hell yeah, dude. That's uh, been my favorite thing about streaming so far, is just being able to chill with y'all and talk while we play awesome video games. I look forward to my nightly chats with y'all. Hey, baby. What do you say? Or not, you like, I every night, but you know. <laughs> Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end <laughs> in from the which eco flows freely, <laughs> and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. I mean, I'm not going to pretend to know anything about your area, Rue, but I, I'll just say you probably don't want to live in our area. <laughs> I get the sentiment, though. I, I The sentiment. I understand that. But, uh, yeah, this, this, this area kind of sucks, honestly. Again, outside of, surprisingly, the retro game market. The retro game market's pretty strong. I think it's because everybody's so poor around here that, uh, like, retro games are all they can afford, so. <laughs> no. Jokes aside, I did tell, uh, Noodle the other day, we went out to eat at one of the local restaurants, and they have pretty decent Alfredo chicken, or, yeah, yeah, chicken Alfredo there, and I told, uh, Noodle that if you do ever come to town for some reason if we ever do meet somehow in real life i have no idea how that would ever happen but i was like we're gonna have to bring them here so they can try some chicken alfredo because uh yeah as soon as as soon as noodle started eating chicken alfredo my mind instantly just went to you <laughs> you with your alfredo man yeah exactly chicken alfredo yes <laughs> damn right you would yep it's pretty good. It's pretty good. As far as, like, not homemade chicken alfredo goes, it's probably the best I can think of I've ever had, personally. I don't know if Noodle would agree or not, but, uh... But, yeah. Like, it, it's it's not bad, man. I like it. And it's not too expensive, either. It's... What is it? For a large portion, it's $13, I think, Noodle? Correct me if I'm wrong. Don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The first I hear monster sightings near the village and now this see those gears up there boy see them see how they're not moving that means our village has no power the eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted and boys everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened oh i missed your last message room you live in a pretty shit area how you just learned something interesting but also rather dark about my hometown I mean, you've piqued my curiosity, I'll say that much. Eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing. If by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution... This dude just got all kind of power cells, huh? Uh, so anyways. <laughs> it's actually a decent price. Yeah, I know, I agree with you. Probably your fave, but that one we tried from the crafty thing was good. Yeah, but I I feel like they just used jar sauce, which, I mean, nothing against it. It was good, but uh, it, if we knew what jar they were using, we probably could have also just made that ourselves at home. Um, now, to be fair, though, for all we know, the, the other restaurant that we go to, the pizza slash bar place, um, they may use jarred sauce, too. I don't know, but it's pretty damn good. That's, that's, all, I, that's all I know, man. Uh is the only two fancy restaurants in town one of them we've not ha haven't actually gone to yet uh so there's like a a pizza place that turned into a bar and grill which is 
pretty decent food, honestly. And then uh, there's there's like an actual what I would call fancy restaurant in town that I can't even think of the like what they serve or anything. But I've never been to that one yet. Too fancy for me. Plus, I don't need a lot of places because they sell shrimp and shit like that. So, so it turns out my hometown was a great meeting place and had tunnels for the at their peak. Ooh, that's a thing. Well, hopefully it's not that bad anymore. I know we had some issues uh, back then around here because my my parents, well, mom, because that's the only parent I really had, uh, <laughs> told me stories about growing up and seeing people doing some uh, pretty shit things out in front of their homes and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, so, but luckily our area's turned around a lot in that uh, regard, I hope yours has as well. And I'm also surprised the Automod didn't say anything about that. There, that's uh, that's kind of surprising. We literally saw the cans, that's true, at the crafty place. Pizza has good Alfredo and you love Domino's Alfredo bread bowls. I like Domino's Alfredo as long as there's enough uh, sauce for it. But they're bread bowls, I just feel like it's too much bread, not enough sauce. In case people can't tell, I like sauce. <laughs> oh, the fancy one in the crap part of town, Italian food? No, actually. I Again, I don't go there because of the shrimp and stuff like that. No, I'm talking about the, the pizza place. The, the one up by work. Uh, the pizzeria that turned into a bar and grill. They still sell pizza, thankfully, because Noodle loves their pizza. It's also, like, super cheap pizza. Not only, like, is their food reasonably priced, like, the, the eat-in food, but what's one of their pizzas around, love? Is it, like, uh... It's, what, like, $8.99 or something for one of their pizzas, too, right? $7.99? Something like that? It's it's stupid cheap. That's all I really remember. And, like, for a large pizza, that kind of price? And it's not bad. It's not my favorite. But it's not bad, and Noodle loves it. Six nine nine seven ninety nine. Yeah, like that's not bad at all, man. You know, definitely not at that level. But you're not surprised it did, considering its history. As you were alive, your hometown is famous for burying dark history. Your grandmother's trying to find some old record she has for research paper. Hey, that's cool. More afraid of sauce on Domino's, the better. Exactly, man. It's like their sauce is really good. Their noodles are usually cooked pretty well. The chicken's not bad, but then sometimes you get it and it's just like dry. And then if there ends up being too much sauce, that's fine. Just dip your crust in it. Like, right now I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. I just hope she's all right. It's worth a parcel if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute. We are not going back to Misty Island. I promise you this. One day we're gonna meet and we're gonna binge eat. Hell yeah. I mean, I'm down for pretty much anything that includes food, so just ask Mr. Noodle. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> She's gonna kill me one of these days. Oh. Uh, we were at Walmart the other day, uh, shopping a little bit, and I'm a very open person. Uh, she gets uh, a shy about things, if you know what I mean. And we were going through the, the condom and lubricant section and whatnot. And Walmart also happens to sell toys, adult toys. <laughs> so <laughs> I, she made a joke about like getting her one and, but she kept walking. I stopped and picked one up and held it out like into the middle of the aisle. And was like, Noodle, you're forgetting your toy. And then she just keeps walking and people started looking. And uh, I just, so I just yelled it louder. I was like, <laughs> and then I did it again. But she kept walking, being lame. She, I think she might have turned around and yelled at me because she's rude like that. Uh, but she was blood red. It was hilarious. I thought it was a great time. I don't know why Noodle was so embarrassed, but... <laughs> OMFG, no. <laughs> yep. Mr. Noodle, just dot, dot, dot. <laughs> What's wrong, Noodle? You didn't, en you didn't enjoy that experience? That bonding time we had together there? <laughs> you love that kind of humor, but you get secondhand embarrassment so bad. See, I don't, man. I just, I, I don't get embarrassed easily about things at all. Like, <laughs> it's very hard to embarrass me. 
so I had no problem doing that. I thought it was hilarious. And if somebody wants to do that sort of thing to me in return, fair. Totally understand. The only problem is it doesn't bother me, so like... <laughs> Nice, that place is awesome. They have a s'mores cow zone? What the hell? A s'mores cow zone? That sounds pretty decent, man. Sounds like it might be too much sugar for me, but definitely something I'd want to try at least once, you know? Italian place is good, has a decent price, and may or may not help launder things for certain organizations. What the hell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know anything about that. I know that much. You're about to never subscribe again? Why would you never subscribe again, love? Because of one little story. You gotta share some nice, uh, some nice stories with the, with the viewers here. With the, Besides, it's probably all just friends right now. It's not like this is going to be going up on YouTube where anyone in the world could watch it at some point. So it's fine. <laughs> oh. They aren't bad products. I mean, they were designed to be more appealing for retail shelves. Yeah, yeah, this is true. I'm assuming you're talking about the sex toys. Yeah, they're like, uh, they're like colorful wands and vibrators and things like that. Not like just straight dildos, but. <laughs> oh my god, he embarrassed me so bad the first time. He, yeah, she met my mom, yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> the first time, by the time we met my mom, um, we were sexually active at that point in time. Or, uh, were, did we already have sex? Or were we just getting ready to have sex, like, talking about it? Anyways, I don't remember. Long story short, I asked my mom for some condoms, and she didn't have any, so I asked her for some money for condoms. That's all. Like, we were trying to be safe. I don't know what's so embarrassing about that, man. Like, <laughs> Stream, you're digging your grave. <laughs> oh. It's... Fine. Noodle should be used to it by now, to be honest with you. Like, Now you have to be careful, though. Some of them are absolute garbage at the cheap price. This is true. I don't know the quality of the ones at, at Walmart, the store we were at. But uh, I do know I've read a bunch of reviews about like uh, ones at, at Amazon. And, and there being issues with those ones. Because um, a lot of them are like counterfeit, apparently. Which is crazy to think, like... I never would have expected people to be counterfeiting adult toys, you know? But apparently there's money in it because, you know, <laughs> Mr. Noodles huffing and puffing. No reason to be mad, love. Nate read an article about it. The guy had to do a lot of appeal to Walmart higher-ups. Wait, what, really? What, to get them into Walmart, you mean? And I get that. I'm ridiculously fond about those things. Oh, heck you, Automod. Hold on. Gotta look at the Automod. What Automod do? That actually reminds me my school is having a let's talk about sex thing in one of the dorms. And they're even including the school's LGBTQ to help out. Really? That's pretty cool. That's, that's cool. You bought your last two there? Weird. At Amazon or at Walmart? Yeah, I know, like... We had some toys at Walmart for quite a while, but they were they were pretty tame things. Like there there were condoms, cock rings, lube, and then one specific like Trojan brand vibrator, like little tiny personal massager vibrator, whatever you want to call it. And that was like it. That for a long time, that's all we had at our local Walmart, at least. But uh, recently, they started getting like wands and and other other things. So, Amazon? Yeah. I mean, I'm not... It's not that all of them on Amazon are bad, for sure. It's just that, like, that is a thing, apparently, is uh, counterfeits at Amazon. Which, again, is not something I ever would have expected, at least. Like, TikTok says the ones at Walmart are pretty good. I would expect there to be some quality control with the stuff in store at Walmart. But I imagine you could probably find some pretty, pretty shit ones on Walmart.com, though. If you weren't careful. You'll be honest, they are pretty good, have a decent battery. Only complaint would be the charger types they use. Yep, a lot had to be done, designed for him to get the contract. Huh. I'm guessing, like, they couldn't be realistic looking. It's what I'm assuming the, uh... The, the... 
decisions, but you have so much to do. I Compromise that they had to make was? I'm just guessing. I don't really know, but... Oh, that's right. We can do, like, a long jump if we roll and then jump. I forgot all about it. Like I said, it's been so long since I played. I forgot, like, all of the movement tech and everything in this game, man. So far, though, I'm having a lot of fun with the, uh, the PS2 version of it here. My only problem with it is there are definitely areas where the frame rate kind of dips a little bit. And it just doesn't feel like it runs quite as smooth as it did on the, uh, on the, the PS3 remaster that I was playing. But, uh, okay, we got it. But, again, no real, no, no big complaint there, you know? Like, it's not, that's not, it's not so bad that it ruins the experience. So, like, hell yeah. Walmart sells vibrators? The fuck, Walmart? I could have gotten some way faster. Yeah, they do. At least, uh, at least our local Walmart does. I don't know if all of them do. But, like, wands and, 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 uh, wands and things. I don't, I can't remember all of the stuff they have there. To be honest, I haven't spent that much time buying them there. Noodle, or buying them, looking at them there. Noodle refuses to buy any of that sort of stuff in person. Because, again, she's very shy about that sort of thing. So, if she gets that sort of stuff, she wants to order it offline and just have it delivered <laughs> to the house. I personally would rather, like, have it in hand, be able to look at it a little bit. But... You know, that's just me, I guess. <clears throat> you bought most of them, and work-wise, the old department manager joked with me because the bullet got knocked down to a buck, so you grab some. I mean, why not, man, you know? Especially for a buck. Like, holy crap. Even if they are crap and you can only use them a couple times for a dollar, it's like, who cares? They have pretty packages and pretty colors. This is true. That they do. That they do. You have to check mine. I don't even know where the fuck the owl is anyway. <laughs> An odd noodle, shy bean. Honestly, though, she is. It's kind of hilarious. Um, yeah, at our Walmart, at least, it's next to all of the, like, condoms and lubricants. Which is right next to all of the, uh, feminine hygiene stuff. So. You can look on the Walmart site, too. This is true. They have aisle locations and shit on the Walmart site. So, yeah. <laughs> Where I could just get lost in this game forever, honestly. Like right now in the beginning, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty basic. But the game just it feels good to play. It's quirky, it's funny, it's childish. It just reminds me of a better time, and I'll take it. Like, <laughs> oh, yelling at the mod again. Why did it flag the word noodle? I figured that, but I don't know where they are. And Noodle, I'm giving you shit, but I'm the same way. Is it because you said Noodle and you shit in the same sentence? I honestly, I don't, I don't know why. Noodle was one of the flagged words there, though. Like, <laughs> I understand it flagging you shit, but yes, it flagged Noodle. <laughs> it's weird. But only Noodle with the lowercase n, because, like, we've said Noodle in chat a million times before. And I, I'm sure somebody's typed Noodle with the lowercase n at least once, you know? So I wonder why it didn't flag it then. I, I honestly, I'm starting to believe this whole, uh, conspiracy theory of the Automod just having a problem with you, Ru. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, I it's, it's, uh, said as a permitted term now, so it shouldn't flag it again. But... Noodle, have you and the Automod been having a fight, too? <laughs> uh, testing Noodle the fuck. I'm a mod, so I don't get in much trouble. That's, that's, this is true. This is true. Honestly, I should just flag, or flag? I should just, uh, mod Noodle at this point. I mean, you've been around for long enough. I'm pretty sure I can trust you to not be a jerk. Click, click, where is the click ban, timeout? There it is, mod, that's the one. There we go. I thought I was modded, you are modded. 
Why why are you thinking you're not modded all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, did I say noodle? I meant root. <laughs> if I said noodle, I'm sorry. I've been mixing up words lately. I was asking a, a friend of mine earlier while I was at work. Um, somebody that I like to, to BS about with video games all the time. Or BS2 about video games all the time. If his, what his favorite, uh... I meant to ask Jack and Daxter game was out of 1, 2, and 3. Apparently I said Ratchet and Clank. I could have swore I said Jack and Daxter, but he swears I said Ratchet and Clank. And I'm inclined to believe him because, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time I screwed up that sort of thing, so... <laughs> I don't know. I love this pause screen. That one? I mean, it's laid out well. It's functional. I have no complaints about it. There's graphics off. Oh, yeah, I think we looked at that already. Duh. Was it the robot? No, no. The robot didn't work today. You know what I don't like? The fact that triangle is the back button instead of circle. <laughs> Just because it confuses me. It's not actually, like, that big of a deal. But I keep trying to hit circle to go back. And instead, it just keeps opening up the option menu. You just said you should probably just mod Noodle at this point. Yeah, I meant Rue. I meant I should just mod Rue at this point. And I did. Rue's a mod. So hopefully Rue will no longer have fights with the auto mod. So, I mean, you don't literally have to collect everything in this game either. But, uh... I'm probably going to. Because, <laughs> yeah. When did I get unmodded? You're about to get unmodded. <laughs> Joking. I wouldn't do that to you. I love you, Noodle. What is this power I hold? Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> mean, you know I'm joking with you, Noodle. I wouldn't do that to you. Unless you ended up being a jerk. <laughs> A jerk to the viewers. You're already a jerk to me. <laughs> what is this power I hold? Uh, so I mean, if you don't know, you shouldn't get flagged by the auto mod as much. Uh, if anybody comes in saying actual, like, nasty things, you can ban them, time them out. Uh, I'm sure there's other things you can do, but I, <laughs> I don't know off the top of my head, because, like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, shit. It's been so long since I played. I can't remember. I think we need to grab a power thingy. And then we need to run down to here. So that we can, so that we can charge that. And then by charging that, I think we'll be able to get up top and maybe get that bird. And it's, 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 uh, power core. Yeah, there's definitely some frame rate issues with this version of the game. That is, uh, being super obvious. Okay, we can also do, like, that high jump there, too. But is the high jump really any higher than our regular double jump? Uh, I don't know. It's about the same. Holy shit, this is cool. <laughs> I'm glad you're excited about it, man. I mean, you've been around for months. I'd consider you a friend at this point. Like, uh, I don't see any reason not to give it to you. <laughs> not to abuse it. I didn't think you would. I trust you. If I didn't, I wouldn't have given it to you. Also, where is the closest power thingy? Isn't there a power thingy around here somewhere? Hmm... I'm not seeing it. So we have all these things to give us full health, which is nice. But I need, I need le power for over there. There's like the one all the way over there, but I don't think I'd be able to run all the way back here in time. Once I collected that one, there's those ones, but. Oh man, I don't know how to get over here. It's gonna take some getting used to, but honestly, this is exciting. Love you, stream. Love you too, Rue. And, uh, yeah, I mean, like, don't... You don't have to take it super seriously or anything, either. I appreciate the help anytime people are in, uh, mods are in stream. And if somebody, you know, is being a jerk, I appreciate them, uh... It, it hardly ever happens, but, like, two or three times. 
since I've started streaming. There's been some some troublemakers and just give them a quick timeout or a ban if they're being totally ridiculous. And then we move on with our lives. I should have had you cut up my veggies. I don't want <laughs> to. What veggies? Oh, that's right. You ordered, uh, ordered. You bought, uh, some broccoli and cauliflower. I remember now. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I really would have had time to do it before I came up here. But if you're, uh, not, like, starving for them, I can do it for you after... After, uh, the stream's over. I don't mind cutting them out for you then. Thankfully, as you know, his streams are tame, so not much to mod. Generally speaking, yeah. We got a pretty good group most of the time. Right here, I am freaking blind, man. We can get up to the bird right there. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played this game. <laughs> okay, I guess I don't need to try to collect everything while I'm streaming. <laughs> I've instantly gone back into when I was playing this game on PS3 and uh, and 100%ing it. We don't we don't need to do that. Just spit it up. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're racing it? Spin, you big wheel. There we go. Now I can see. And they and still, that just means you can help protect the channel if you need to. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, you're a bastard, you bird. Sorry, right, we're just going to come kick your ass again, man. I don't know what you're thinking is going to happen. But, uh, yeah. This bird going to die today. Anybody want to eat some... What is it? Is that a pelican? I don't... <laughs> Alright. Now we know. We got to run over there. Quickly. Host haste. It gives it such a head start. <laughs> I guess I'll close up your cereal. Did I forget to close the cereal? Oops. I'm sorry. Good job. Memory not so good. Yeah, boy, got it. You really want some? Noo uh, noodles? You really want some noodles? Uh, <laughs> I really want some noodle. Uh, no. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, vegetables. You really want some vegetables? Then uh, chop up some vegetables. I mean, it's just broccoli and cauliflower. It's not that hard to chop up. I like noodles, too. I had, uh, whatchamacallit, for lunch today some uh ramen noodles awesome by the way uh we're gonna die yep i didn't remember that thing existing <laughs> holy shit wait did we miss these chests or is it making us it's not making us start all over right no we saved we saved at one point or another yeah it wouldn't make us do it all over again we we, we saved it must just be the uh, the chest with just the life stuff, because, I mean, it's just life, so. Okay, that's all it's doing. Thank God. I was, I was a little concerned there for a minute. So there's definitely more things to collect around here, but since I can't remember how to do it off the top of my head, and I wasn't paying much attention when everybody was talking, I guess we're going to ignore all that for now. And then, uh, if we ever decide to 100% complete this game on stream... Which probably won't happen. We might play through the entire game, but we probably won't do a completion run. Then we can worry about it. Though I may end up completing it on my own time because fuck yes. Jack and Daxter. Where did the old lady with the egg go? She said meet us down here by the egg. There it is. Hi old lady. Hi egg. Oh my. I hope the poor deer's okay. Here's the power cell for your valor. Oh no! <laughs> Look, isn't that cute? It thinks you're its mama. Ah, I'm not your mom. You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. Oh. Listen, boy. my heart. I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. Hell yeah, another precursor orb down. Oh man, there's this restaurant near me called Fazoli's, and while they don't have the best chicken alfredo, my opinion is still really good. 
I mean, most of the time. I won't say all of the time, but most of the time, chicken Alfredo is kind of like pizza, you know? Where even bad chicken Alfredo is good chicken Alfredo. Like... Though, it's certainly possible to have bad chicken Alfredo. It's pretty hard to screw up to the point to where it's not decent, you know? It's, it's cheesy noodles with chicken in it. Like... <laughs> <laughs> it's I don't really know what you're gonna do to screw that up you know you can have not enough cheese the chicken could be bland like there's there's definitely a difference between really good and really bad but uh even really bad's edible if chicken alfredo is on the menu that's most likely what I get this, this is true. That's the restaurant we were talking about. Like, I always, I want to try to get different stuff because, like, I don't want to eat the same stuff all the time. But every time I don't get the chicken Alfredo, I end up regretting it because it's just, it's good. It's really good. It's reasonably priced. And it's freaking cheese covered noodles. Like, it's just, <laughs> it's hard to beat that. Like, the restaurant across the bridge, no flavor at all. Oh, the one, yeah, I forgot. Noodle's sister got her some uh, chicken Alfredo the other day, and she was complaining that it had, like, no flavor or anything. It just tasted like like noodles. Noodles and milk, I guess. <laughs> you came up with a solution for that? Rue, that sounds like blasphemy. What was your solution? You may have told me, but I don't remember. Uh, get there. Power me up. Yes. I'll take all your precursor orbs, please. I think we have to herd these guys. Go that way. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Turn, turn. Left. One down. I don't remember how many there are. I think there's only like three of them, maybe four. I'm pretty sure we get a power power orb thingy for, for doing this too. No! Where are you going? This way. In the gate, you freaking I don't your cross of like a deer and a cow or whatever you are. We get something new and we go, but order a large Alfredo to go. That's not a terrible idea, honestly. That sounds pretty decent. Like, <laughs> then we still get our chicken Alfredo, but we can try the new food too. That's not a terrible idea, honestly. We might do that next time. If there's anything new left to try, we've eaten there a fair bit. <laughs> Always get Alfredo. Now I need a snack. I just ate before uh, the stream. Honestly, I ate a little bit too much, man. I had... So, I bought, like, some little uh, pepperoni log things that I warmed up. I got them. Warmed up two of them up. They're, they're tiny, though. So, that's just, like, a snack type thing. But I ate that. And then I ate a small bowl of cereal. Because Noodle got me a... What is it? It's like chocolate caramel Cap'n Crunch. Honestly, it's a little too, like, not quite right sweet tasting and like artificial caramel flavor it wasn't my favorite but i still ate that and then i also ate a salad and some uh some sandwiches because <laughs> yeah i ate way too much man <laughs> everything i know about italian cooking tells me i need to spend at least eight hours on my sauce alone you know and i feel like that's not that i'm some professional italian cook or anything but I feel like a lot of that is Italian-American cooking, you know? Like... Because, like, a lot of Italian cooking that I've, that I've seen is actually relatively simple. Stuff like, uh... Like, you know, he some oil up in a pan with some garlic, some onions, some herbs, or whatever. Throw some diced small tomatoes in there just until they blister and re release their juice and start to thicken. And then throw your noodles into that to finish thickening it up and cook it all together. Like, that's, that's a super simple sauce and recipe, you know? But it's delicious. And I... I I feel like a lot of Italian cooking's like that, but then uh, uh, the Italian-American crowd kind of took that and was like, okay, you know what, instead of doing that, you have to do all of that that we just talked about, but then you have to add a lot of extra tomatoes to it, 
and then you have to cook the whole thing down until it's a nice thick consistency um, but careful not to burn it now because if you burn even a tiny bit on the bottom of it then it's gonna taste like straight trash so yeah <laughs> You're the food mod. Hell yeah. There you go, man. <laughs> you found your calling already. <laughs> if anybody says anything about food, you are here to take action. I forget how to get over there. No, not to Fire Canyon. Over, over this way. Can I turn the camera? No, we're too close to the other loading area. There. I want to go up there, but I forget how to make my way over there because there's that mask thingy and we can like give it stuff and when we give it stuff it gives us stuff can we do like a long jump yes okay and then another one and another one yeah okay okay so far so good so it's a little touch and go maybe but yeah okay i was about to say we got it we don't got it we screwed it up you don't want the stocks do you yeah i'll take the stocks man she doesn't like broccoli stalks, but, uh, I mean, one, I think they taste just fine, and two, they're great in, like, uh, sautés and stuff like that, so. Hey, so I caught a snippet of this, but you're having issues with ads. Um, I was earlier. Uh, like, I, I ran, I ran my usual ad shortly after the stream started. That way, like, once people got here, they wouldn't have to sit through ads. Um, if they're not subscribed, but it, most of y'all are, honestly. Uh, anyways, um, but then Twitch still wanted to run auto ads. Uh, that's all. It, it, it's better now, although it is about time to run ads, though. That's true, because we are, uh, coming very close to an hour. It's the best part, though, especially if they're a little burnt. The stalks, you mean, of broccoli? I love broccoli sauteed broccoli st stalks man i like the tops too i also like those a little bit burnt like if they're roasted in the oven or something like that also freaking delicious but yeah i agree <laughs> the stalks are amazing awakens the oracle. Wait, double yes one of you has the light within from before time i have watched and waited for the true hero to return present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Press circle to trade 120 for orbs for a power cell. Let's go. Power cell is yours. We can buy another one from him at some point. I don't know if we have enough at this point in time, but again, that's like a completionist thing and I'm not that worried about trying to complete the game right now. I've already done that anyways, and as much as I would uh, maybe like to do that, I'm not going to subject y'all to, <laughs> to that at the moment. That voice, though. Lightly burnt onion, man. Mm, yes and no. Sometimes it can be good. Sometimes I just want them caramelized and sweet or just softened, you know? Caramelized if I want a little bit of extra sweetness in my dish. Um just softened if i just want uh oniony goodness in my dish like grilled onions were a major thing going on for y'all it wasn't really for us we had uh uh onion rings of course and we ate a lot of onions be it on on burgers and soups stews uh sauteed whatever um, the only time we would really grill onions if it was part of like a, a larger dish like just grilling up a bunch of different vegetables uh, All mixed together like uh, onions and peppers and uh, Carrots potatoes just like dumped everything together and grill it up We did that but we didn't really have like grilled onions on their own Though it does sound good and a little bit a little bit of smokiness to it and uh, And that little bit of char for us, we grilled them in a pan so they were soft and sweet. It was cheap and easy snack for us poor folk. I mean, I still make stuff like that sometimes. Throw some mushrooms down in there to go with it. And uh, you got a pretty good quote-unquote snack. <laughs> oh, man. You like it mixed to give me burnt with caramelized? Like I said, I... A little bit of a char every now and then, maybe. But uh, I, I do usually prefer mine 
not not too charred at least you know just 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 a little bit maybe all right guys uh like i said though it has been about an hour twitch is gonna make me run an ad soon enough so we should probably just go ahead and get ahead of it so we're gonna take just a very short break while i uh take a drink stand up stretch get rid of the pre-roll ads y'all know the drill by now we'll be back in like uh two minutes guys I also need to unmute the game because I forgot to do that. Professional streamer here. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, oh, crap, yeah, I can't remember the name of it. But it was fun. But this one, man, just from first impressions here, this is a lot more high energy, a lot faster pace. I also see that we can beat people. Holy crap, okay. Mania meter full power. What does that do? I just did a spin kick on a bike. Hold on. <laughs> I can whip people with my bike midair. This is ridiculous. I was wondering why we had a health meter. I thought maybe that was just like for when we run into stuff or something. No, we can we can beat the crap out of people, man. Holy shit, okay. This is not what I expected. I got first place. <laughs> so far. So far. I guess we could still lose it, man. Somebody could come up behind me and just freaking whip me. Like, wait, did I go off track? Oh, no, what happened? Why did I get reset? I must have went off track. <laughs> just took that lady off her bike, man. This is crazy. Okay. And we're just, like, jumping right into it. Like, I have no idea what's going on. I didn't know this is what this game was going to be like at all. Finish third. Not bad for our first race, I think. Alright, what were the uh, the messages here? After you complete, you have to shoot for the Japan-only releases. Oh, man. If you do, like, worldwide, the PlayStation has, what, like... I don't even remember now. It's, uh, it's thousands of games, though. Like, it's a ridiculous number. The Scooby-Doo games are fun on this gen of console. I'm hoping to figure that out for myself very soon, hopefully. Mr. Noodle, you're on your way home. Very cool. Happy to see you. You left very early this morning. And Rue said, I told you it's fun. You are very right, man. <laughs> I was surprised by it, to be honest. I was ex Speaking of that three-month resub that you got today, Rue, that video, the little, the little inter... I don't know. I don't, words are failing me, as always. But that little video in between sections of the actual stream... That was the uh, first time you subbed, if I remember correctly. So, pretty uh, pretty nice little coincidence there, man. <laughs> College student, you're poor all the time. Been there. Know that feeling. Holy shit, do I know that feeling. And yeah, we were talking about comfort foods and stuff on the last stream. It seems both uh, myself and Nate had poor people tomato-based comfort foods. <laughs> Like, tomato and noodle-based <laughs> comfort foods. And, uh... Myself and Nate. And Noodle was just kind of confused on, like... Did, did, did everybody have a... <laughs> a tomato noodle-based... Poor, cheap comfort food thing? And, uh, because she didn't. And she was very confused. But, yeah. We definitely did. She wasn't poor enough, apparently. Yeah. I think that's what it was. That's what I'm blaming on, at least. You found a leftover Reuben? There you go, man. Ah, uh, Noodle, you know what we haven't made in a long time? I've, uh... We make these sandwiches... I forget what they're called. But it's like a, a roast beef. You can use different kinds of beef, but, like, roast beef is the easiest. And you cook that down with some Swiss cheese, and then you make a, uh... A, a, a concentrated beef broth, essentially. And you dip it down in there, and, oh, it is so good. Also, we died. I still love toast or bread with ranch as a snack. When you're poor, you make interesting food combos. Whatever you got to do to get by, man. <laughs> I've never had toast with ranch, but honestly, that sounds A+. Plus. Like, I'm not going to lie. I could probably eat the hell out of that. Just toast and ranch. I'm here for it. Let's go. Oh, they were good, but wine noodles, though. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
We haven't had wine noodles in a while. This is true. We can make some. We can make some of those as well. Um, we bought that, uh, uh, oh no, that's a red wine vinegar. I was thinking we got the, uh, the, the vinaigrette or whatever, but no. Different thing. Different thing. Being poor sucks, Noodle. I wouldn't wish on anyone besides my mortal enemies. It's actually really fucking... It honestly sounds really fucking good. Like... I love ranch, dude. I saw a guy on YouTube. He was talking about hot dogs. And, uh... Or, like, making hot dogs for some thing that he was testing. And he ate a couple of them with, uh, ketchup. And then he was like... But really... I can't remember what the hell he said, but point is, he was like, and now we have to try it with the best hot dog topping of all time, ranch. And they just fucking covered this hot dog on, on a bun with ranch. And I was like, no, uh-uh, there's no way. Like, can you really, can you just put ranch on a hot dog? So I did. And oh my god, I was pleasantly surprised, man. It's actually pretty freaking good. Like... Um, should have just had you cut the veggies. Did you cut yourself? I bet you cut yourself, didn't you? Why do you always do this, Noodle? <laughs> I love you, but my lord. Why did I never think of that? Same, like, I don't know how I never thought of that before. It's so good. Do you need to go, like, to the hospital? That's what I want to know. Like, <laughs> are you okay? Are you bleeding bad? <laughs> like, how, how bad did you cut yourself? Cutting some veggies, my lord. You're about to only be allowed to use a butter knife. Like, <laughs> you're about to lose access to everything else. I don't think so. I think I'm okay. You think you're okay? That's not very, uh... Oh, Jesus. This is a lot harder to, to control than I remember. Okay, yeah, this definitely worked better on the, uh... On the PS3, this is a little mini game here. Holy crap! What did you step on? I think you stepped on my controller thingy. Oh no, you're fine. You're fine. Do you feel okay at least? Okay. <laughs> you're allowed to talk. <laughs> are you scared people are gonna hear your voice? Oh no, my voice. People might hear me. She's okay, guys. <laughs> she she she's got a little bit of a a little bit of a cut on her finger, but it's not that bad. Obviously, though, she needs to learn to be careful. I don't know how much she can still hear me, but oh, there there she is. I don't know if anybody heard her because I used a thing to cut off background noise, but she talked, guys. Rue said it's just us. There's no reason to to be shy. Yeah, let's play again. Maybe maybe we'll get this. It, it, it feels a little weird when it's moving. Of course, I am also playing through OBS, which I know excuses, excuses, but honestly, it does make a difference, man. Just playing on the monitor itself or playing through OBS. That input lag or, or, or uh, display lag, I guess, is technically what it is. All right, we're already doing much better than we did the first time. Though. I just need to, I just need to warm up. That's all. Oh, okay. We missed one, two, three. Holy shit, we're missing them all now. I spoke too soon. Ah, oh, blame lag. It is, man. <laughs> the lag be rough. I'm assuming we're trying to beat a hundred. Uh, okay, well we got over a hundred at least, so maybe we're okay. Oh no. Oh man, okay, we did so much better than the last time. And it's still going? Does it ever stop? What the hell? Okay, poison fish everywhere. It's, okay, well, do you want to play again? No, how many do we have to get? Wait, what, we didn't get the power cell? How many do we have to catch? Holy, I'm sure he said, but I wasn't paying much attention. Oh, uh, you be nice. I am nice. Well, she's okay, and nope, didn't hear shit. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, yep. <laughs> I mean, I also, like, I use my mic pretty close to my face, and she was across the room when she <laughs> said something, so. You're trying to cut the stupid thing off the cau cauliflower, and it slipped? What stupid thing were you trying to, like, the stalk? 
You're trying to cut the stalk off the cauliflower? This is why I don't eat veggies. <laughs> oh, poor noodle. This is the last time we're trying this before I just give up on the, the catching fish thing right now. I'm guessing it's as soon as we catch one poison fish, we, we lose. And then do we just have to get to the end? Like, does it not matter how many points we get? I don't know. Here comes a big one. This dude reminds me of like some dude from SpongeBob, like the voice actor does. I don't know if he was or anything. And I, I my memory's so terrible, I can't remember like what SpongeBob character it's making me think of, but. But it's definitely giving me some, the dude's giving me some SpongeBob voice actor uh, feels, man. Oh, we're still alive. Nope. Nope. No poison fish. Poison fish, go away. Why is there so many? Okay. I think we're good. I don't remember what our record was last time. They're definitely coming faster. Holy crap, there was a poison fish mixed in there. No! Shit! Okay, yeah, we're done. <laughs> we're not gonna try again right now. Not necessary. Oh, I didn't mean, I'm sorry, random fisherman dude. I didn't mean to kick you. Sounds a bit like the Flying Dutchman. Maybe, maybe. Flying Dutchman mixed with crabs. Are they the same voice actor, the Flying Dutchman and crabs? Or are they two different voice actors? I know a lot of shows use like the same voice actors for multiple different roles. I don't know. And SpongeBob if they do or not though. Are these gonna blow up? Yes, they are. <laughs> that answers that question for us. Good question. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate the kind word. Jump. Okay, so we gotta try to get these energy pads, I'm assuming, all the way over to where we just came from. Okay. Run faster, please. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Oh, it's gonna be close. Yeah, boy. Hell yeah. No problem. Wasn't even sweating it. Not worried for a second. So interestingly, am I remembering correctly? Or is this where the end of the game is too, in this level? I don't remember if this is actually where the end of the game is, or if this is just where I got the 100% at when I was playing it on the PS3. I just remember doing stuff climbing that tower there. But I don't remember if that's because I had to, to like fight the final boss, or if that's just where I collect collected the last of the crap that I needed to win the game. I can't remember at this point. I sometimes wish my memory wasn't complete trash. <laughs> like, cause I mean, it's been a little while. I, uh, let's see, I, I'm living in the house I'm living in now, or I've been living in the house I'm living in now for the past, what, six years, Noodle? If you can hear, that sounds about right. And I'm pretty sure I 100% this game and the apartment that myself and Noodle lived in before we moved here. So that would put it at like eight-ish years ago, seven-ish, seven to eight years ago. So I mean, like it's been a little while, but it hasn't been that long. And I completely forget, man. I completely forget this game. Like, <laughs> like this, this all looks familiar. Like I remember this area on a on a high level. You know, like a, a, on a on a conceptual level, but I don't remember any of the details where any of the stuff's at, any of the secrets are at, uh, what the actual goal in this area beyond just collecting things is, if there is a goal in this area beyond just collecting things. You think? And there is cauliflower everywhere. How did you get cauliflower everywhere? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> You were just, you were just cutting some vegetables. It wasn't supposed to be anything that complicated. 
Next time you're waiting until I'm uh, done streaming and then I'll just come make your veggie bowls for you. How about that? I think that's how we're gonna have to do it. <laughs> Hold on, game. I'm taking a drink. Okay. Hey, this game isn't super long, if you didn't notice. We're already 11% of the way through the game. And we've only been playing for, what? Um, uh, hour and a half? Like, so yeah. Like, the game isn't super long at all. But that's perfectly okay with me. Like, I'm not upset about that even a little bit, you know? Like, I, I like long games, obviously. I play RPGs and shit all the time. But not every game needs to be a super long 60-hour experience to be worth it. Like, it, it's acceptable to just have a, a you know, a, a six-hour um, platforming game that's just hella fun. Like, you can, you can make that and not feel bad about yourself. Like, <laughs> I remember seeing some people were complaining about Ratchet and Clank, actually. Um, shoo, that was close. Because, like, it was too short, they were saying. And, like, man, come on. Like, really? Too short? That game was the perfect length, as far as I'm concerned. I don't think they needed to, uh, to add anything else to that game, man. It was great. You told me to cut them? I said if you didn't want to wait to cut them. <laughs> but I told you I would. You ended up just cutting into quarters and quarrying it? I mean, honestly, that doesn't sound like such a uh, bad way to do it. It's been so difficult, I don't even want this shit anymore. <laughs> oh, poor Noodle. I'm sorry, love. Next time, I'll cut them for you when I'm done. As long as you can wait that long. <laughs> The real problem here is whether you're going to be patient enough to wait until I'm done to get them. Because uh, we all know you. You're just going to want them now. And I'm not going to be ready to cut them for you, so you're just going to make them for yourself anyways. <laughs> Bad experience be damned. If Noodle needs her, her cauliflower, she needs it now. It appears Noodle's worst enemy is the kitchen. Noodle's worst enemy is anything that requires dexterity of any sort, honestly. She's just, uh... She's pretty clumsy, man. She does have a, uh, a genetic disorder that makes it, uh, harder for her, or, or that, that makes her a bit more clumsy, because, like, she has trouble seeing and hearing and stuff. So she has a little bit of an excuse, to be fair, but, uh, yeah, she's also just a clumsy-ass person, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, that's also a huge, huge part of the problem there. Life is my enemy. <laughs> Mood. How about we just buy the mix bag, you said earlier. I mean, that's fine. My only problem with the mix bag is it's never as fresh is just buying like the whole thing of a uh, broccoli or cauliflower and um wait didn't we just see i don't know whatever did we already i think maybe we already collected that one now that i think about it yeah I'm pretty sure we did what else is there in this area there's find the blue vent switch catch 200 pounds of fish okay so we were actually pretty close Free seven scout flies. We got five. And then there's some hidden ones that we didn't get to. That's eh, fine. Whatever. We're going to. I think we have enough by now to uh to get to the the fire part of the the game. Oh my lord! No, go back, please, and then back, and then how do I? How, I just want to leave the menu, please. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> that shouldn't have been so hard. Anyways, uh. Yeah, so, what was I saying? Oh, 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 we should be able to soup up the vehicle now so that we can cross the, the, the fiery lava pit thing and progress to the next set of levels. It's okay, I caused myself a knife wound to your stomach while checking out my brother's new knife. How did you do that, Nate? Please do, share this story with us, man. <laughs> 
That sounds fun, says uh, Noodle. You got yourself a Rudolph Band-Aid? There we go. All better now, right? You got Rudolph giving your finger a hug. That should make everything better. Your veggies are finally cut up and you can enjoy them. I feel like you've been working on cutting those veggies like the entire time I've been streaming. Which I would just like to point out for anybody not keeping track has been uh, an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> Over an hour and 20 minutes. I feel like you've been cutting these vegetables. Mr. Noodle is the world's greatest sous chef. She helps me in the kitchen all the time. And uh, I appreciate her a ton. But I will say... It is true, she's not the world's fastest uh, cutter, peeler, etc. <laughs> she does a good job with it, but it takes her a little while. And you know what? I'd rather her be safe than, <laughs> than to chop a finger off or something trying to slice up a carrot. So, <laughs> Pewter Chair had a loose bolt. You were looking at, you were looking at it, dropped it, the blanket caught it. You held it up, went to pick it up, chair broke, and you fell right on it. <laughs> what the hell, man? See, that sounds like 80% your fault. Well, maybe not even 80, like 70% your fault, and then like 30% just the world had one, uh, was trying to get one over on you there, man. Like, <laughs> that's just shitty. I started a little after I told you I wanted them. Okay. So at least you weren't working on them the entire time is what you're saying? I mean, that's still a pretty long time to be cutting some vegetables, but it's a little bit better, I suppose. Um... Ooh, okay, that door. Over there. Let's go! I keep... I want to be able to roll like in, uh... <laughs> Mario Odyssey, man. Every time I do, like, the the short little roll and then the jump. I'm just reminded of Mario Odyssey and how good it feels to just roll around all the time. And that's what I want to be able to do. Like, Caught myself or it would have been serious injury? Yeah. I mean, you were pretty lucky it wasn't a serious injury. Whether you uh, caught yourself or not, like, that could have been real bad. Well, you had to take a little break, too, because of your injury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, how likely is it that the blanket holds the knife in a stabby position? This is very true. This is very true. Yep. <laughs> like I said, I think I think the world just had it out for you that day a little bit there, Nate. Just, just a little bit, man. You had to make sure you got all the leaves off. I mean, look, I don't like broccoli leaves but like they're edible though like it's not gonna hurt you to eat them like <laughs> like it'll be okay i promise uh why'd we go down here uh oh my lord i can't get out of the water now we gotta run all the way back up around again ma'am am i man am i ever glad i got the worst injury you got was from a scooter crash on campus Really bad wound, no skin. Or no... <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. No skin, just blood. And I had to have it wrapped for nearly two weeks. Oh, boy. Yeah, that sounds... That sounds wonderful. <laughs> Scared the shit out of my math teacher. When I was on our Zoom meeting, I also had to get physical therapy. Maybe I did get a pretty bad one. Yeah, yeah, it honestly sounds pretty bad, man. Holy crap. I've never actually had that bad of an injury. I've been uh, stabbed a couple times. Um, but they never ended up being serious. I had a very large gash on my arm, but, uh, like, it's fine. I poured some iodine on it, wrapped it up, and called it a day. I probably should have got stitches for that one, but it's too late now. Uh, I had to have surgery once, but that wasn't because of an injury. That was just because of, uh, a gross thing that I had on my stomach. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess I've been pretty lucky in that regard. I almost flipped a quad onto myself at one point, um, but thankfully I didn't, so <laughs> didn't have to do anything with that. I've been pretty, I've been pretty lucky, I think, man. You know? Oh, wow, that also sounds fun. Yeah, right. I also couldn't move my arm for a week. One of the patches 
to help her grow skin got stuck on the bloody board, so it took ages to remove it. That sounds gross, man. <laughs> I bet it was agonizing, too, though, like, sitting there while they're trying to remove that stuff. I know whenever they did the surgery on my stomach, they they put a bunch of gauze in the uh, the open wound that I had to, to soak up any, any, you know, gunk that tried to fill it back up. And uh, whenever they had to, like, split the wound back open and pull all that gauze out, that, that was a whole thing, man. That was uh, pretty painful and also just kind of surreal watching someone just pull, you know, eight foot of, of gauze tape out of your out of your stomach, like right in front of you. That was a little weird, man. Not not my uh, favorite memory, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, Noodle especially needs to stay home. I, I agree with Noodle, man. Although you haven't been hurt that bad. You've what sprained an ankle, broke a couple bones, and that's that's about it. Uh, Rue over here sounds like they've about died. Like, holy shit, dude. Basically, with the way it was, if I failed the rest of the way, it would have fully went in. Whereas with the way you caught yourself, it just went in an inch or so. You were holding yourself up with one arm for the knife to be moved, so I didn't fall the rest of the way in it. Yep. That could have been bad for sure. I did get stabbed in the, uh, the collarbone with a, with a metal dart you know back when they actually had metal darts with like needle points on it because we were dumb kids i've been caught on fire a couple times too but like uh this most of that stuff was just me being a, a dumb kid slash teenager though like <laughs> weren't really accidents per se it was just like things that are bound to happen when you're being a dumbass i'm sorry a fire uh yes so <laughs> we used to uh take brake cleaner highly flammable and shoots in a straight line right and then we would each me and like some brothers or friends or whatever we, we would each have a can of that and then we would start a small fire and uh like in the middle of 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 us and then we would run around trying to take the fire from you know the the fire pit and we would with the brake cleaner draw lines from that and try to run it up each other's legs and shit as we're running around um Good times. So, yeah, I've been caught on fire a couple times. Uh, like I said, not that big of a deal, really. I mean, it goes out easy enough. <laughs> you just you just pat it a few times and it goes out. If it doesn't want to go all out, yeah. if it refuses to go out, then you just take off your pants. Like, Although none of us ever had to do that. One of my brothers did catch himself on fire bad enough at one point that he had to take his pants off. But that's because, if I remember correctly, he was drunk and like basically fell in a fire so like that was his own fault man he's hey, a dumbass had a fractured foot no idea how broke my nose falling on a rock broke my thumb wrecking my bike sprained my heel think from getting hit with a pedal on your bike and sprained my ankle walking the stream yes yeah yep. and almost ruined the uh the cheesy bread i think it was that we got I rest around and boxed around the day with some duct tape and toilet paper on the wound. <laughs> what? You wrestled around and boxed around the next day with some duct tape and toilet paper on the room. Duct tape and toilet paper, man? Come on, no. What you do, you grab an old t-shirt or something and that's what you duct tape on the wound. Not toilet paper. Have some class. <laughs> oh, Lord. The only surgery you had, Noodle, was to get your adenoids removed. Yeah, the only one I've had that I remember, at least, is, uh, the one on my stomach, so. Cheese sticks. That bl box went flying. Yeah, cheese sticks. I couldn't remember if it was cheese sticks, pizza, or what, but, yeah, I remember you were very upset about it. Not only the fact that, like, you fell and got hurt, but because you almost lost your cheese sticks, too. Again, we all need to stay home. <laughs> I don't think I'm that bad, man. The rest of you have had it pretty rough, but most of my stuff was because I was being a dumbass. Like, <laughs> you don't have enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. What do you mean I don't have enough power cells? Until you collect enough power cells. How many do I need, lady? Oh, we have a zoom in function. How how am I just now finding that out? <laughs> I thought we actually would have enough by now. I mean, it's probably for the best. We got to get off in like 15 minutes anyways. But I would have liked to try and do that section before we went. Can we go... There's the, the ship over here. Can we go over there yet? 
or that'll probably just take us to the misty whatever which we've been to already so let's see in sunover village we need 90 orbs to our uncle and to the mayor we have 51 so that's not gonna work um back back mm, no i want to know these and then here we can we haven't figured out how to get that one in the middle but we can chase the seagulls or free seven scout flies the forbidden jungle unblock the eco beam find the blue vent switch catch 200 pounds of fish and i think oh no we didn't get like any on misty island wait what did we really not okay hold on maybe we can go back over there holy shit! how do we get out of this menu start we press the start button we can't press back button no that's stupid we gotta press start crap the toilet paper was cleaner I mean, it's better to use, you know, anything clean, I guess, but cloth is much better than toilet paper, in my opinion. I am not a medical doctor. Do not take my advice, but, uh, or do not take my advice as, as, you know, the word of God or whatever. But <laughs> personally speaking, I think I would rather take a, a clean shirt uh, of some kind and, and wrap it around that, you know? For the same reason, like, gauze tape, for instance, is, is made with a clothy-like material. And, uh, I feel there's a good reason for that, probably. You know? So, using a, a t-shirt, or, in my case, whenever I cut my arm open real bad, or had the, the giant gash on my arm, I, uh, I used a old sock. A clean one, of course, but a sock. Poured some iodine on it, wrapped a sock around it, and, uh, Till it stopped bleeding, which it did eventually. Alright, so I know there's some more orbs over here that we didn't collect. So there's that we can do, I guess. We need 90 for our uncle, 90 for the mayor. That'll get us two more, but... I don't remember how many we actually need to get the bike up and running, though. I guess it probably would have helped if I would have been paying a little bit more attention whenever she was talking. Yeah, sadly, I don't think we're going to have time to get to it tonight. I would have liked to get to the bike section, because it's a pretty fun little section. But oh well. I'm sure we're going to end up finishing this game on stream anyways, so... Y'all will get to see it then. Although... This Saturday, whenever we do start the next game on stream that we're going to be completing, um, I, I've been thinking about it a lot, and DMC, which Nate has been asking about, or asking for, is like a front runner for it. Um, it's going to be a bit tough, but it's, it's, it's a fun game, and it's a, it's a visually appealing game. I think it would be a pretty decent one to try and do, to be honest, so... No promises. Plans could change. I don't want to get anybody's hopes up too much, Nate. But, uh, <laughs> Devil May Cry, Rue. Devil May Cry, I think, is what we're going to start playing on uh, Saturday to, to try and complete. And then after that, we're probably going to do Resident Evil 3, but only because I want to play the rest of the Resident Evil games. And uh, I refuse to play them out of order, so... So I need to beat three, or yeah, three, so that I can play zero and four, and eventually five, six, seven, eight, all that stuff. Oh. Okay. Well, this didn't happen last time. Why did this just happen now, but not last time? What the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> we did? Did we do something different this time? Let's check it out. I'm confused. I don't know what we did, but... You know, I'm glad I never had brothers. I don't think I would have survived if there were anything like... <laughs> like you and your stream. <laughs> oh, my brothers weren't that bad. I mean, we all survived. None of us died, so... I'm sure you would have been fine. And we had a sister, and she's still alive, too. Like... <laughs> Like, everybody's alive and fine. You're just dramatic. Hey, 
Hey, DMC, or if you wanted to do a short one again, you always enjoy more Jack. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I would have no complaints about finishing Jack either, but uh, I was looking at uh, how long to beat times for a, long, a lot of different games, and DMC, generally speaking, is a, is a short one too, like seven to eight hours for most people. So, uh, like, yeah, that one actually doesn't seem like that bad of a choice. It just depends on how long we end up getting stuck on different levels. Like, uh, that level that we're on whenever we, we finished up the last stream. Um, I mean, we must have tried that, what, four times? Something like that, and I kept getting my ass kicked by that boss, so... Like, that game can just be difficult at times. And I'm not, like, the world's greatest game or anything, but I consider myself pretty decent at gaming. And I'm still, I'm still struggling with it, so, uh... Yeah, we could always turn down the difficulty if we end up being stuck on anything for too, too long. But uh, as I've as I've said before, I, I would prefer not to, if not entirely necessary. So we shall see. We are at 62 now and we have 18 orbs. There's some way to get up there. We need to find a power source. I think whenever the avalanche happened, it gave us a way to get up there, right? Yeah, with these these things falling here. Somewhere, maybe? Maybe not? I thought it gave us like a shortcut up there, but no, I guess not. Okay. Uh, go away, weird dog dudes. Did you get the orbs from the people in the village? I got a couple of them from the people in the village. The other two people want uh, want me to pay them for them. And I don't have enough to pay them right now. They want 90 orbs each. For one uh, precursor orb or whatever the hell it's called. So I haven't forgotten about them. We just can't afford them. <laughs> Huh, no, okay, there's not a power source up here. I kind of swore there was a power source around here somewhere. Not these, not these two, like a, a bigger one. Is there a pipe cleaner rehab? Yeah, Noodle has a problem with pipe cleaner, man. She just can't get off the stuff, it's terrible. We've tried talking to people about it, but she just can't leave the pipe cleaners alone. No, our, our cat, one of our cats, uh, Katie, she she has a, a serious issue with pipe cleaner. She absolutely loves to play with it, to play fetch with it specifically. She also will just like bat it around the room a lot. Honestly, it's really cute. I don't know why Noodle's complaining about it. <laughs> no, like I do get why. It's, it can be a little bit annoying when you're like trying to eat or something and she's just standing there like staring at you like why aren't you throwing this pipe cleaner? Like do you hate me or something? Like <laughs> hello, time to play. It's like, no, it's time to eat, actually. <laughs> it's cute, but she taps you. Yeah, she'll, like, tap your leg to let you know that it's time to play with her. And it's like, but I, I literally have food on my lap right now. I'm trying to eat. But, I mean, she's a cat. She doesn't care about that. Huh. I don't remember, man. I don't remember how to get up there. There's got to be a way to get a power source over here. But I don't remember what it is. Or where the, the power, the closest power source is. Like, there's one up there, but how do we get up there? And then there's seagulls around here somewhere. I don't remember where those are at. Oh, well. It's fine. Like I said, we can always, uh, we can always come back and figure it out next time. That is uh, pretty much all the time we got for tonight anyways. So, yeah. Thank you guys for uh, joining me. I'm going to sit and BS with you guys for a couple minutes while we uh, wrap things up here. And I do hope you enjoyed Jack and Daxter, though. I know I most certainly did. It's an excellent game. I don't know exactly how much it cost um, generally because, hey, thank you for the bits, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate it, love. Um... Because I bought a few different games down at the game shop today. So he just gave me like the total price, not each game individual price. And I haven't had the chance to put it in my list to see how much uh, this one specifically is.
but I, I know it's not too expensive. It couldn't have been more than like 10 bucks or something like that. Uh, like uh, for the average price of it. Yeah. So highly suggest it if you got a PS2, you know, motocross game and are looking for a, uh, a cool game to mess around with. And yeah, get Jack and Daxter, man, get Jack one, get Jack two, get Jack three, get them all. There's a, there's a, a Jack racing game too. I never got that into that one, but like, it's fine from what I remember though. It's not like a bad game. It's just when Mario Party is a thing in your household, you tend to play that more than, than anything else, you know, as far as racing games go. Oh, boy. But, yeah. So, if nobody's got anything else, I think uh, I think that's pretty much it for the night. Rue, thank you again for being here, man. Noodle, thank you as always, and, and for the bits. Nate, thank you for stopping in and hanging out with us for a bit, man. I appreciate it. It's been a good night. Good night with some good games. And we'll be back tomorrow with, uh, I don't know what, maybe Pac-Man World 2, just because I kind of want to play that game, or we might go back to playing random stuff. I'm not sure yet. Played some early at the Prism Club at school. Wait, what? Hold on, before we go, what the hell is the Prism Club? <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't leave yet. What is Prism Club? <laughs> just tell me that, and then you can leave. <laughs> I just want to know, what is Prism Club? That's your uh, LGBTQIA plus club. Okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> I had no idea. I've never heard of a Prism Club before. So I was just very confused. All right, all right, all right. The gay club, basically. <laughs> oh, okay then. <laughs> I should have made him wait till next time. No, that's rude. <laughs> Anyways, have a good night, Rue. Thank you again for being here, man. I appreciate it. Noodle, I thank you, I guess. <laughs> jokes, jokes. I love you, Noodle. Thank you. Night, guys. See you at night, Rue. Because prisms make rainbows, question mark? That, that makes sense. If that was the idea behind it. Rue's trying to leave to go to sleep, Noodle. Stop bugging them with questions. You don't have to. You didn't have to answer, Rue. You could have just let that one slide. Like, <laughs> Night, guys. Night, Nate. I don't know if you're still hanging around. Anybody who just uh, stopped in to watch the stream without chatting, I appreciate you, too. I can't give you a, a call out because I don't know you're here, but I appreciate y'all the same as well. Thank you all so much, and I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. And uh, Noodle's a weenie. That's, that's all. guess yeah i guess <laughs> now nah, i love you mr noodle no surprise for me and uh, see that's why you're a weenie because you do crap like that man you can't just tell somebody you got him a surprise and then not give it to them it's rude <laughs>